Legislation has been filed to allow what's called open carry in Florida. Today, the bill passed the first House committee on this, but anti-weapon advocates are not too happy about the proposal playing into our gunshine state nickname. Capitol Bureau reporter Matt Galka tells us more about it. 45 states allow some type of open carry of firearms. Florida is one of only five that outlaw it, but that could change soon. The crime rates in key categories like aggravated assault, murder, uh, robbery, uh, those crime rates are lower in states that allow open carry. So the suggestion by some of the shrill voices who oppose the Second Amendment that this will lead to the wild, wild west, uh, that is not borne out by any of the evidence that is maintained by the Department of Justice. State Representative Matt Gates says his open carry proposal is restoring Second Amendment rights and will lower crime. But not everyone is going in guns blazing on the idea. There's a reason Dwayne Johnson The Rock doesn't walk around with his shirt off all the time. Because it's intimidating. It's scary. Retiree and parent Sean Bartlett says she feels safe right now without open carry. I don't want to be on the beach on Siesta Key next to some person who feels that they have to have a handgun in their hand to feel safe. The bill cleared its first House committee, but Democrats who opposed it are worried that just anyone could walk down the street holding a gun in their hand. Pointed down, not pointed at anyone, but pointed down. They could lawfully walk past a bank, past a bar, past a school. Law enforcement groups have yet to take an official position on the bill. Reporting in Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, News Channel 8.